Hey guys, Carter here from Iftron Tech, and today we are going to be talking about how to update your Clearview module. Uh, this is also a very similar process for the ground stations, so if you need to update your ground station, follow along as well. Um, specifically for this, all you'll need is your goggle receiver, of course, and then secondly, you will need to pick up a future proofing cable number two. Uh, if you have ordered this with the pre-order, you already have one of these. If not, you'll need to pick one up. For this version, uh, we are updating to 1.04. Um, right now it's on 1.02, and that will be just a performance upgrade. Um, so that's the reason for this update. Uh, ah, third thing, forgot to mention, you'll need a PC connected to the internet. Um, so with those three things, we'll just pop online real quick and uh, get going. So once you are at your computer, all we will want to do is just open a new tab and go to clearviewfpv.com slash updates. Hit enter and you will be given uh, these two links, so update instructions for Clearview 5.8, 2.4, and XLR ground stations. The one you're going to want to click on is uh, instructions for the goggle receiver. It will bring up a whole little page on how to update and that will show you you need to cut the pin and which way to put the cable and everything you need to know. Um, it will also give you a link to the future proofing cable which is right here and it will give you links to the driver you'll need to download and the firmware you'll need to download. So all we'll need to do to get this set up is download the updater so we'll just click download and save that as an executable file and we will need to download the driver as well. So once this is open, there are just a couple simple steps to get this thing updated. So step number one, you want to take off any antennas you might have on this guy and just pop this out like this. Take that off and you don't even need to take this out. All you'll need to do is if you see here, there are the three wires and there's a little arrow which is marked in silver. That arrow lines up with an arrow that's marked white on the board and these will just plug in together just like that. Arrow meets arrow and it plugs in just like that. You want to make sure that these wires are fully connected to the pins so just make sure that it is firmly in place and it's not going to pull out. And then all you'll need to do is plug this end into a USB port on your computer. So if you do have any problems updating, the number one cause of that is going to be this cable right here. Uh, basically there's just not much wiggle room on these pins. These pins are so short that um, it can sort of very easily, if it just gets wiggled like that, it won't be connected. So you want to make sure that during the whole update process that's firmly in place and that this cable doesn't get tugged on. So at this point you can see that we have plugged in our goggles like so and it's plugged into the USB but nothing is showing up here. So all you'll need to do is plug in your goggles, boom, and as soon as we do that the receiver will turn on and here we go. It will recognize your device. So once the program recognizes your device, it'll either allow you to keep searching for other devices or proceed with this device. So I'll say proceed, you'll need to say uh, either browse your computer for an image file or browse update website for an image file. If you've already downloaded something, you can browse your computer. Otherwise, I'm just going to say update or browse update on the website. If you're like me and your default browser is uh, Internet Explorer or that's what the program defaults to, what you'll notice is that when you say save target as, um, it'll only be able to download it as an HTML. And you're going to be like, ah, freaking out. Head's blown up because you can't figure out how to download the PSU, which you need. So all you'll need to do is copy the link of this download page and go to a different browser. Um, I know Chrome works and maybe others will work, maybe Firefox or something like that, but I know for sure Chrome will work. So say paste and now watch what will happen. Now you say save link as and voila, PSU. There you go. So you want to make sure you're downloading a PSU file and that will download real quick. And then you'll go back to your updater here and you'll browse your computer for downloadable files or uh, whatever whatever it's called and right here you will see the PSU file so you open it 
and it'll pop up this little thing and it'll say either search for another image or begin update transfer. So all we're going to do now is say begin update transfer and it'll just be downloading all this stuff down here. It'll take about 10 minutes plus or minus so you can go off and fly some tiny whips or something in that time and otherwise uh, you're ready to rock and roll. So I think that covers everything about updating. Um, if I did miss anything, as always, shoot us a comment down below, shoot us an email, whatever, or go to our help page if we have one. Anyway, I think that's it, uh, and go check out the rest of our videos. We have more videos coming soon. I've been very busy, and finally I am catching a little bit of a break, so I will start putting out more videos for our channel again. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't. Go check out all of our products at clearviewfpv.com, and I will see you in the next video. Cheers, guys. Bye.